Afternoon guys. So I'm in the Peak District today to do a little bit of landscape photography and some wild camping. And I've just come up onto Chrome Hill to recce a couple of little compositions for sunrise in the morning. And I've also brought my tent with me just so I can get that all pitched and set up in the daylight. And with regards to the composition at the minute, so I'm looking at possibly this quite well-known composition uh, amongst landscape photographers with this really nice tree in the left hand third and then we've got Parkhouse Hill over there in the background so that should look pretty nice for sunrise in the morning. So I'm going to go and see if I can find a little place to pitch my tent and then uh, I'll get that all pitched up and then we're going to head over to Parkhouse Hill and then see if we can try and capture some nice sunset images from over there. So I'll catch you guys shortly. Okay guys, so I've just come up onto Parkhouse Hill and just below me we've got some uh, really nice composition from this farmhouse building and we've got some nice leading lines uh, from the road that's uh, leading up to it. Also getting some really nice side light coming in which is lighting the scene nice and gently. Uh, surrounding the farmhouse building we've also got some uh, fields which are different shades of green so that's kind of giving us uh, a little bit of contrast in the image and with settings on this this was a f8 80th of a second and iso 100 just to the right of me we've got this really nice hawthorn tree which is a little bit windswept so that's going to be a really nice uh, foreground interest and then we've got chrome hill in the background which we will have as our focal point so i'm just waiting for that sun to set and uh, so we'll get some really nice colors in that sky I'm undecided yet as to whether I'm going to go for a panoramic composition or whether I'm going to go for a vertical composition. So I'll probably go with both and then uh, I'll decide later on as to which one I'm going to go for. And just behind me here, I've also got the Fuji set up and ready to go um, when it gets a little bit later on so we can capture a time lapse of the setting sun. So I'm going to wait for this sun to set and, uh, and I'll catch you guys shortly. Okay guys, so we've got this composition set up now. So we've got this really nice windswept thorn tree in the foreground there, and then in the background and focal point we've got Chrome Hill. Just waiting for this sun to set a little bit more, get a little bit more colour in that sky. Um, so this is all set up. I'm going to shoot this at f10. Um, I'll let you know what shutter speed we'll be doing. ISO will be 100, and I've got a free stop soft graduated filter on the front um, to begin with and then I'll change it as necessary. Uh, just to the side of me, I've got the Fuji just there, time lapsing, and that's at F10, <coughs> auto shutter speed, manual white balance, 
and that's taking a picture every 10 seconds. I'm going to take 360 of them. Hopefully going to end up with a 15 second time lapse with a bit of luck. So we'll see how that one turns out. So I'm just going to wait for the sun to set and I'll take a few more images and I'll catch you guys in the morning for sunrise. Good morning guys. So as you can see it's not a great morning this morning. Uh, we had a bit of rain during the night. They had forecast it for the early hours. Uh, however I was hoping it was going to clear by sunrise this morning but uh, sunrise is in 10 minutes so I don't think it's going to clear anytime soon. Um, it's supposed to break up within the next hour to hour and a half so I'm probably going to stick around just to see if there's uh, a shot to be had here. So I'm just going to sit this out and uh, I'll check in with you guys shortly. Okay guys, so unfortunately the weather's not played ball with us this morning. The clouds not cleared and the sunshine's not broken through. However, I did manage to capture an image earlier, so um, I'm hoping that might make a really good black and white photo. I've also got the Fuji just there time lapse into, so that's uh, capturing some of this movement in the clouds. However, we've, it's given us the opportunity to get out and uh, recce this location for compositions. And it's definitely a place that I'm going to come back to in the future to try and capture sunrise again. Um, so that's about me done here for today. Uh, so I just need to head off and go and pack my campsite up and then I'm going to head back to the car. So if you've liked this video, please give me the thumbs up. Also, if you wish to see future videos, then please subscribe to my channel. And once again, thank you very much for watching.
so we've got the settings on this so we're shooting this at f8 iso 100 and an eighth of a second sorry hundredth of a second Okay guys, so unfortunately the weather's not playing ball with, with us now. Oh,